Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we're going to fit yet more LEDs to the Scania. The plan was to add the LEDs to the roof, but I think we should finish up the bumper first. The second plan was to wire up the headlights, but I ended up doing none of those things and wired up the bumper light instead, which was a bit more involved than you might think. We're going RGB on those spotlights. First job then is of course to remove the bumper and the cab. We've done this a few times now, so we'll just skip through it. It's just a case of remove the two screws from the bumper, then remove the two screws from the cab and sit it back on the chassis. Unplug the underbar light from the LED driver and we're good to go. Next, we can remove the two screws on the back of the bumper that attach the grill section. That reveals the two screws that attach the light bar, so we can remove them too. And lastly, on the back of the bar, there's two screws that attach the LED retainer. The bar has two sets of lights, there's the spotlights and the three little orange lights, so we'll do them first. When we built the kit, we pressed in an orange lens into the back of the bar which we need to remove. I found a very small hex bit worked quite well, we just need to gently push the lens from the front. I'm going to glue some surface mount LEDs onto the back of the lens, so we need some flat areas for the LEDs to attach to. I'm going to file some flats, being very careful not to go too far, one directly behind each of the rectangular bits. I've got some pre-wired LEDs to use, not because we really need them pre-wired, but because they're the only yellow 0805 LEDs I have in stock. When they get connected up, the wires are going to be replaced. The LEDs just need gluing on nice and straight directly behind the lenses. They're going to be wired in series, so all three need to be in the same orientation. To glue them on, we just need a tiny spot of cyanoacrylate or superglue, and we position the LEDs in the glue. They'll need a good few hours to dry, so they're absolutely solidly mounted, otherwise they're going to be fairly easy to knock off. I left them overnight just to be sure, and this was the result. Three 0805 LEDs stuck to the lens. Next, I did a little bit of soldering. The three LEDs are in series, so it goes red wire to the first anode, then cathode to the next anode, until we get to the other end where we have the black wire. Because we're using LED driver chips, that's all we need to do. However, if you are connecting to a battery or other power source, you can need a suitable resistor to limit the current. Once the lens is carefully pressed back into the light bar, you would never know it's been modified, at least from the outside. The wires will sit nicely in the slot, just needing a spot of hot glue to keep them in place. So that's the first lot of LEDs, next we're going to look at the spotlights. They're really designed for 3mm LEDs, so of course they have round holes. I'm planning to use square LEDs instead. Although, rather than a single LED, it has a red, a green, a blue and a white LED all in one package. Also, they have some built-in electronics that drive the LEDs. We just send them instructions on which light and how bright. And it's not just one package, they can be daisy chained for a large array of LEDs. If you've ever come across those RGB LED strips that come on a roll, it's a similar device. To fit them, we're going to need to make those 3mm holes 5mm squares. There's not really a secret though, I <laughs> just drilled them out to just over 5mm, then squared off the holes with a file. A bit time consuming, but not at all difficult, as long as you have a file that's 5mm across. It really does make it quite easy. The LEDs will just slot in and get a tiny drop of glue so they don't fall out. Wiring up the LEDs is next, and a little bit out of scope for an RC video. In essence though, we have 5 volts on the ground going to each package with a 100 nan capacitor. Then the green wire connects the data out to the data in of each package, with the brown wire at the end being the final data out that can connect to more LEDs. When they're fitted to the bar, it's easy to see how they're daisy chained, going from one to the next. The soldering is a bit small if you're used to soldering motors and batteries, but it's a good skill to have. Small scale soldering opens up lots of possibilities with RC projects. Next, I refitted the orange lights and added some hot glue to run the wires behind the chrome. Not super tidy, but it'll do. The wires all come together at one end, so we can pass them through the hole in the grill. 
before you refit the bar there's the spotlight lenses to fit there's just a couple of spots of poly cement or odorless cyano so we don't fog up the plastic and while they're getting fitted i'll also paint the back of the bar with some mac black paint like so to refit we need to run the wires through the hole in the grill we made during the build then we thread in the two screws we removed earlier we need to make sure the wires aren't pinched anywhere and of course nothing's under stress Next, we can pass the wires through the bumper and check it all fits. The wires should be somewhere near the slot. Of course, we can't just plug the bare wires into the driver board, so we need to splice in a connector. For this setup, it's a 4-pin for the spotlights and a 2-pin for the orange lights. I've made the joint so it should fit inside the bumper slot out of the way. If we refit the grill to the bumper with the two screws, we have a nice, neat-looking install. To test it, we need to refit the bumper and cab. There's the three connectors into the LED driver now, the spots, the orange lights in the spotlight bar, and the under bar lights. Next, the cab gets tilted back and its two screws fitted. And lastly, the bumper goes back on with its two screws. We need a battery connected up so we can power it. And we'll lift the rear axle just in case something goes wrong. I can't imagine how spotlights would cause the truck to drive off by itself, but it's better to be safe for the first power up, and it's a good habit to get into. Right then, power up time. For now, we've just got some test animations. The first spotlight is cycling the four LEDs red, green, blue, and white. The other three are hue cycling. The orange LEDs are just flashing on and off. The main thing is we can see they're all working, which is nice. Once we have some software that does something a bit more than test animations, we could have them behave like police lights, flashing beacons. We could even tint the white spotlights to be warm or cool. If the truck's being towed in reverse, maybe we could use them as tail lights. There's a lot of possibilities. But for now, that's going to be it for this week. Another small step forward to a complete set of lights. There's still lots to do though, the roof and upper cab lights, the receiver, and of course the headlights. We should probably have a driver too. As always then, thanks for watching, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys!